Okay, so moving on to the next trailer, which is a serious 180 from Texas Chainsaw Massacre slasher stuff. We are moving on to the next one, Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio, which I've always kind of had a bit of a history with Pinocchio. Like, Pinocchio has always been one of my favorite childhood stories, you know, like when I was like five or six, it was one of my favorites. I had a Pinocchio movie on VHS back in the day, and yeah, I said a Pinocchio movie, as in something other than the Disney Pinocchio. I can't remember who made this Pinocchio, but it was like, if I had to take a guess, it was probably one of those movie companies that saw what Disney was doing and said, Hey, right, let's do that! That'll make us instantly popular! You know, like, uh, uh like a lot of the ones Phalus covers, you know, like Beavenfield or Good Times or Golden Films, one of those things, you know. Some is probably one of them. I can't guarantee it was actually one of them, because I don't have the VHS anymore. I've long since <laughs> got rid of that thing. My family got rid of it, probably. I, I, the point I'm making is it was definitely kind of in the same vein as those movies. And I used to watch the crap out of it when I was a kid. It was one of my favorite movies to watch. And I loved several parodies. Like, my favorite parody of all is probably the one with Billy and Mandy, where Pinocchio gets it in his head that if he eats Billy, he becomes a real boy. <laughs> Oh man, Billy and Mandy is one of the best cartoons ever. I strongly recommend you look at it, <laughs> but that's neither here nor there. Pinocchio, and uh, Guillermo del Toro apparently has made a stop-motion Pinocchio for Netflix, and I gotta say, even if it wasn't Pinocchio, you know, stop-motion animation, I gotta check this out, because, you know, stop-motion, claymation, that whole vibe, I'm a sucker for that stuff. I love that stuff. Even when it's a bad movie, I generally like a lot of stuff like that because I know for a fact that something like that takes extreme patience. Like, it takes the patience of a saint. It's like, I even when the movie turns out bad, I can at least appreciate what they tried to do. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so... This one's not going to come out for a while, apparently, but it might be worth looking at. I don't know. We'll see. So, in the meantime, I'm going to check out the trailer for this and see if it lives up to the hype. Uh, you can check out the link to the trailer in the description down there, as always. And, yeah, so uh, let's slam the salmon here. And, yes, I am going to try and make that a thing from now on. <laughs> Okay, it looks interesting. Uh, I guess it's Sebastian Cricket now, not Jiminy Cricket. I guess that's how uh, they get around the Disney uh, copyright there. But, uh, I mean, it's uh, actually a pretty short trailer. Like, it's really more of a teaser. I was led astray. I was thinking that this was actually going to be... It was actually going to give me more to talk about than it actually did, so... This might end up being the more disappointing of the two that I do, so I don't <laughs> But, uh, yeah, very stop-motion animation, you know, very whimsical-looking, and I'm actually kind of intrigued a little bit. This one I might actually watch, I don't know. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's not really giving me much to work with. It was... Like I said, it was a lot shorter than I thought it was going to be going into this, so I don't really know what to say other than what little is there actually does kind of look interesting. So, you know, I might check this out. Maybe. We'll see if I remember <laughs> when it comes out, because it's not going to come out until, like, December, I think. Like, that was the speculated release date. So, who knows? It's a long ways away, but who knows. So that's going to do it for this. Um, if you think there's some trailers I might like to look at, or if you think I'm going to hate looking at, you know, whatever your choice is, uh, be sure to leave a link in the comment description. In the comment description? No, don't do 
that. Leave it in the comment box, you know. Then don't leave it in the description. I don't think you can even do that. I'm babbling, sorry. If there's one you think I might want to look at, leave it in the comment box below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, ring the bell, all the stuff you're supposed to do. I'll see you next time.